Hey guys, Kimber Schaefer here for Rage in the Cage OKC News and Fire Lake Arena is going to be the subject of conversation tonight. We are talking about Rage in the Cage 35, Rumble at Fire Lake Arena going down March 7th, 2015. And this is huge for you, Frederick. I mean, absolutely huge. With just two amateur fights under your belt, you are going pro and this is a big fight. And you know, you just informed me, though, that you going pro just after two fights and you not having an extensive background in MMA, you are a mutt fighter, you are a street fighter, a mutt fighter, that that has been kind of a topic of not so good conversation, I'm guessing, on Facebook and social media. Social so media, yeah. tell me a little bit about how that's going and, and, and has that affected you any? Nothing but few. There's nothing but few. Plain and simple. Um, you don't know my background. I am a mutt fighter. I'm, I'm from the streets. I've always been in the streets. Um, military trained, we don't have belts in the military. Um, just because I'm, I'm white belt at my home dojo now doesn't mean anything. It's about my heart and what I bring. And I'm bringing every bit of this 243 pound, 6'4 frame can deliver. Well, I tell you, your background in the cage so far, which is two fights, uh, nobody has made it out of the first round with you so far. So <laughs> how does that feel anything for you? Um, that's, that's, that's a great feeling, but that's the past. All I have is now and future. One fight at a time, one gladiator at a time, two enter, one leaves. Well, and as we've talked before, you are 42 years young, um, just getting your fight career started. You are trying to, you know, you can't wait around for opportunities. You've got to take them, and this opportunity was here for you, and you're taking it. Um, How is your training going? And tell us about your dojo. My training is going hard. (laughs) Um, um, I'm getting broke up more during the training than I was in my matches. That's That's just the nature of the beast. Um, um, Sensei Brian Mosley, Sensei Caesar, uh, Ryan, Carl, Scott, the names, the caliber of the people that I'm training with and under is, is, is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> some people have given up time at their dojo to come help me, and, and I'm, I'm honored. I'm blessed. I am that mutt fighter, but um, I have pedigrees taking time out of that day, come and help me, and some doing it for the love of the sport, for the just 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 because they heard about me, they saw me, they questioned me, they evaluated me. I like that. I like this. I like. Let's work on it, and 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 we just we just taking it to the next level. So if you think the color of a belt makes a difference, you're wrong. Let's talk about, um, on a happier note, of course, you've got some beautiful children. It's five, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I tell you, those kids make me feel like I'm a superstar. When I walk into the room, um, they were up in the balcony at our last event, and all of a sudden I'm, Miss Kimber, Miss Kimber. (laughs) And, you know, I just have this fan section up there. Just love those kids. Thank you. Thank you. Um, That had been um, the twins, which are 13, and uh, my youngest son, Matt, you know. So, um, my oldest one, he's still in Alaska, and my my middle boy is in Hugo, um, Oklahoma. Nicholas, I'm always thinking about you. Don't believe the hype. You know where you are. You right here. Fred, you know you right here. Matt, Little Ray, Linda Ann, my queen Amy, right here. With every step, every breath. One thing that I find so impressive about you, and, you know, partially I think it's your experience in life, your age, you know that you've got to get these things done, is, you know, even your first fight, the first time you stepped in the cage, you already had sponsors. Let's talk about your sponsors and about what they mean to you. For somebody to say, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you to the, however far you want to go with what you're doing, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling, a great feeling to be backed and. They hadn't even seen my first fight yet. You know, they was there from the jump. And from that, it grew. Um, found my, my dojo home. It, it's Sension it, Khan Dojo. Thank you again, Sensei Mosley. It's, it's just, it's, it's overwhelming. It's, it really is. It's, it's, um, it's uh, there's no true, true way to describe it and make you understand it. You just have something that you have to experience for yourself. Um, that attaboy is a great feeling, but it's that magnified a hundredfold more. 
All right. So anything that I didn't talk about tonight that you want people to know about you, Frederick? Um, once again, I am that mutt fighter, and I'm not going anywhere. Um, I love my family. They're my drive. And um, I've been in situations that weren't the best, and I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Well, the one place I know that you are going <laughs> is to Fire Lake Arena, March yes, 7th. And you guys get your things together, secure your tickets, and don't miss this event. It is going to be an absolute awesome event at Fire Lake Arena. Fire Lake Arena is just a beautiful facility, and you can still get your tickets from any of these fighters. You can get it at the CPN box office website. We will link to that at the Rage in the Cage Oklahoma Facebook site, and we hope to see you guys there. Be there.